This is a great example of hemiplegic gait. Let's break it down. Watch as her legs move through the walking cycle. It's clear the right and left sides are operating very differently. Observe how the right side abdominal muscles aren't firing properly. Instead of smoothly rotating the pelvis forward, the hip drops significantly backward. The flexi-gate right hip plot illustrates this perfectly. Notice that sharp dip in the blue line during the swing phase, compared to the smoother, more controlled curve of a typical gait. This lack of forward pelvic rotation prevents the hip flexors from working effectively. To compensate, the leg swings forward in an abnormal way through poor pelvic circumduction. Watch as it swings out to the side in a semicircle, likely driven by the lower back muscles trying to pick up the slack. You might even see the hip rotate outwards as it moves forward. And look at the upper body. The right trunk and arm often thrust backward, using momentum to help propel that weaker right leg forward. Now, focus on the right foot as it swings. Our assessment noted weakness in the ankle and toe dorsiflexors. See how it struggles to lift and clear the ground? The toes often drag awkwardly. The flexi-gate right ankle plot confirms this limited lift. Notice the reduced upward movement in the blue line during the swing phase compared to the typical gait. Because of this instability and difficulty in clearing the ground, there's less weight bearing on the affected right side. The flexi-gate data shows a shorter stance time on the right leg, confirming this. With reduced muscle control, the knee can snap back into hyperextension during weight bearing, relying on the passive structures of the joint for stability. And finally, observe the right ankle as weight is transferred onto it. It often collapses inward, a quick, unstable movement reflecting the lack of controlled muscle action to support the weight.